Oh, hi there, Steve Kaufman here. Um, I'm going to talk about patterns and language learning. And I think this is a very, very important um, point. Uh, and it uh, sort of uh, was triggered by the fact that I read an article, which, uh, and I will leave a, a link to it uh, here. And I'll go into more detail at my blog, and I'll leave a link to my blog as well in the description here. And the article was based on some research in, uh, in Israel, which showed that people who are good at recognizing patterns in mathematics will also be good in, in, in learning languages. In other words, the ability to recognize patterns, not specifically language-related patterns, but the ability to recognize patterns is what makes people good language learners. And I was very happy to read this because this is something that I have felt um, intuitively for a long, long time. Um, and I think this is very important for language learning. Um, you have heard me, some of you who have followed my uh, YouTube channel for a while have heard me express great skepticism with regard to Noam Chomsky's universal grammar. I don't believe that we are born with some universal grammar and no amount of explanation from linguistics majors nor anything that I have read uh, has persuaded me otherwise. I believed all along that our brains are um, conceived or have been developed to recognize patterns uh, and that's the main function of the brain to recognize patterns to get used to patterns so that we can lead our lives more efficiently. Uh, that the experience that the brain has uh, causes the brain to establish certain patterns, certain linkages, so that it's easier for us to understand the world around us. And learning languages is no different. Uh, now this research seems to confirm that. It's our ability to recognize patterns. It's the ability of the brain to recognize patterns. So what does this mean for language learning? I have also felt when it comes to language learning that reading explanations of grammar had only very minor, uh, had a minor influence on my ability to, to uh, learn the language and to get used to the patterns. Whereas uh, if I started to notice these patterns more and more in my listening and reading, then my ability to understand the language and also eventually to uh, produce the language improved. But the key was this ability to notice. And I've talked a lot about noticing how at first everything is very fuzzy. And as we nail down a few things that we notice, then we're able to focus more on other things and start to notice them as well. Uh, but one has to want to do it. And we've always, uh, I've often mentioned the people who live in an environment like uh, immigrants to Canada, who aren't very motivated to learn, who don't make an effort to try to notice the patterns in the language, notice patterns of pronunciation, patterns of word usage, and therefore continue to make the same mistakes over and over again. I've talked about how having other people correct you has, again, in my opinion, a minor impact on our ability to learn because mostly we have to train ourselves to recognize patterns. So I, I'm kind of, normally I would have waited till Friday to make another video but I was so pleased to see this article that I just had to make this video here now. And I, just further on the subject of patterns, uh, I want to expand on the experiment that I've had now with Romanian, where I wrote up about, I don't know, 100 some odd, 150 or so sentences, which I sort of divided into different uh, subject categories, like sentences with what and with when and with why and and it seems and and there's a large number of these potential subjects where you can come up with 10 15 or more sample sentences that correspond either to cause and effect or purpose or probability or any of these sort of general concepts that we need to express in all languages and i had in the case of romanian i had these translated into romanian had them recorded and I have listened to them many, many times. And as my ability to understand Romanian uh, improves and increases, and as my vocabulary increases, and I can listen to 
interesting content on history and the news and so forth from Radio Romania, I still regularly go back and listen to these basic phrases because I think it is important to have a mixture of uh, rich, interesting, stimulating um, content which has resonance, which you're emotionally you know, connected with as you're listening, and some repetition of these basic patterns so that again you notice them more when you're listening and reading. So uh, what I'm going to do at Link now, I'm going to, because we're uh, encouraging more interaction and, and mutual help amongst our members and in fact facilitating this, that I'm going to try to encourage our members to do the same, to come in there and create basic pattern sentences, whether it be in Japanese or Russian or French or Spanish or whatever language, uh, a great long list of these divided by category, you know, why, because, since, when, where, uh, and all these sort of situations that you find yourself in so that people can take the ones that they're interested in and read them at link, link the words they need, listen to them while they're doing the dishes and so forth and so on. And I wonder if those of you out there are interested in helping out. So again, at my blog, I will publish a list of, of the categories. Uh, I haven't published all, I'm not going to put up all the sentences. You can go and find them at link. The library at link is free for anyone to go in and download whatever they want. You can download. We have these uh, pattern sentences now in English, in Romanian, in Dutch, and in Portuguese, to my knowledge, and our members are continuing to add to them. Uh, but you can go down there and you can go in the link and download these and use them as you wish by the same token uh, if you can if people do create uh, these sample patterns and record them in different languages i would be interested in hearing about it because i would also want to make these available to our community at link so that somehow collectively we can create this great corpus as they like to say corpus of sample sentences that are relatively easy but represent examples of the basic patterns in different languages and i think that's a great way to begin in a language with these basic patterns and also a great way to regularly review the um the grammar the basic structure yes i do find myself reviewing some of the rules and tables but I find it even more um, useful to regularly review these basic patterns by listening to them and reading them. So the key is to develop a broad you know, range of these basic patterns in different languages. I hope some of you will be interested enough to go to my blog and have a look and even contribute some of these uh, phrases or sentences in your own language. So there you have it, patterns, recognizing patterns, as I've always felt intuitively, would seem to be the key to language learning as uh, if, we, uh, if I understand correctly the significance of the, uh, this research in uh, the Hebrew University in Israel. Thank you for listening. Bye for now.